Hey everybody, welcome back. Nice to see you again. They're at it again. So this is attempt number two for these discus. Uh, since I've had them, I've got them set up in my office here so as I could see what was going on and I've lucked out because I've got them in the act of trying to lay eggs or laying eggs in fact um, so let's have a look at that the first time I had them uh, they kept the eggs until day three I think it was day three or day four and then unfortunately they ate them which happens um, I wasn't completely surprised by the fact that they ate them because they do do that I've had pears before I've successfully bred three different pairs, so I'm by no means an expert. Um, but in each of those cases, it took a number of attempts. Um, the best I got was, I think it was three or four attempts before we got to the stage where we got fry and wrigglers and free swimmers. Um, and some of them took over 12. Um, yeah, it was well over a year for one of the pairs before we actually got there in the end. Um, I don't like to intervene if at all possible, so I, I don't like to separate eggs from parents and, and that sort of thing. I like to try and get them to get on with it and then they do all the hard work basically. But for this one I'm going to give them maybe half a dozen goes and we'll see how we get on. Um, but things are looking good for this pair, they look like they kind of know what they're doing. Uh, so like I say, this is attempt number two, it's probably been about a week since they last laid eggs. They've now got another bunch of eggs and I managed to capture some of that that you're seeing now probably. Um, got some of that, got to see them, the female going up. The female is the one with the kind of the darker eyes and the male is the one with the brighter eyes. The male is slightly bigger. See the female laying egg, you can see her tube and then you can see the the male following in afterwards to try and fertilize them. The male's not brilliant. He's he seems to I kind of know what he's doing. But I've seen some pairs where they'll come in, the female will be in and the male will be right next to her, gliding up behind. This time the female's going up and the male's kind of swimming around, having a look about, I don't know, watching the football, whatever it is he's doing, and then eventually he'll come in and have a glide up. Um, but that will get better in time. Like I say, they're a very young pair. Um, they, they do take a few goes before we get there. So, like I say, this is the breeding setup I've got for them. I talked about it a bit. At, uh, blah, blah, blah. I talked a bit about it in my last video about what the setup was. Um, I'll link that up here. But yeah, essentially, it's just a two foot tank. Um, Nothing in it apart from a cone. I've got a little sponge filter in the corner and I've got some um, a heater. I had added a, um, a power head, a wave maker in there to try and get some more circulation, but that's turned off at the moment to help them with the fertilisation. Um, it was mostly me trying to get the bottom clean because it was getting quite dirty. And but I'll probably take that out because it's not really doing what I hoped it would do. So this is only day one, we'll see what we do, we'll check in in the next couple of days and see how they get on.